Saskatoon with the speed update, Canada, October 28th. So we have here our welded joints, um, Green Master, local deck stock making company, uh, welded these up nice. Uh, they left the, the big weld um, on top like I asked them to because they said that that was going to be stronger than if we ground it off. So uh, if the welds survive this initial test, then we'll grind them off smooth the way that uh, I believe uh, our standard procedure is, and I will retest them. Uh, we have the same rig as before. Um, it is uh, a hydraulic jack sitting on top of a uh, 2x6, which spreads the weight out over the bathroom scale. The bathroom scale is calibrated as it was last time. Um, I've got the two pieces of 2x6 across my little deck here to uh, spread the load out, make it level. They've been level to the best of my ability. I've, uh, I've lost my level for some reason. Not sure where I left it. So it's, uh, it's done by eye. It's not done uh, perfectly, but um, this is a rough test anyway. This is also vertical to the best of my ability. Um, it is not, it is probably not exactly level and it has a little bit of a wiggle to it. Um, I'm going to be uh, measuring the deflection, not how high I am from the uh, from the uh, deck, but uh, how much deflection I get in, in here. This clamp is in the way, so I've got another piece of aluminum tube to test it with that I will be setting up. Uh, we've got clamps um, screwed onto the deck, or sorry, screwed onto the shed, because I had uh, getting cold. It's uh, about 30 degrees Fahrenheit right now, and uh, this plastic doesn't flex very well at this temperature, so I'm uh, trying to avoid damaging it. Uh, I just put some spacers in. Anyway, uh, that's the setup. Uh, this appears to be uh, what I'm going to call point of contact. We're just touching the uh, the end of the tube here, and uh, everything is, as I, as I mentioned, about a 30 second uh, le less than square, so I'm going to Crank it up to five pounds, which is there. Let's see if there is any difference at all. I'm hoping that there isn't. Uh, with this small amount of pressure. It does not appear to be. So I'm going to go up to 10 pounds. That took a little under three three jacks or three presses of the jack. Um, actually, I, I see some distortion. We are... We are measuring some distortion already, which kind of surprises me. I think I did the last one in millimeters. Started at two inches here, which is 51 millimeters. I'm going to say that's 52, 51 pounds now. 55 pounds. Uh, we are at 70. We're up to 100. I'm going to say 58, and in just that short time, we dropped a pound, so uh, 200 pounds, 200 pounds, let's move over to 63, I would say we're at 63, we dropped to 198, I'm going to push it back to 200, and we are more than 64. Three millimeters right now. I would say that we are significantly or noticeably going over the edge of the curve, over the knee of the curve. Second time I pumped it up, that was only a pound that time, and I'd say 68 millimeters. We are over that. Over to 69. More noises from my shed, I believe. We're not lifting the shed, but the uh, connections are suffering. 
Okay, we've stabilized the 200, going to 205. How much difference? Of course, it moved. We were at 68 millimeters. And we are all of 68 millimeters, and it's going higher. Okay, 215 pounds, that took four pumps, not two, and we have some more significant distortion, so we are at we're past 70, not quite the 71 millimeters, uh, we're down to 214, we're back to 215. I'd say it's about 70 and a half. Turn it up to 220. Okay, I'd say we are definitely over the knee of the curve. That took five pumps, I'm going to say. And we are past 72 millimeters. Not quite to 73. We are still at 220 though. The 220 pounds going to 225. I can't make it to 225. Okay, just making sure. No, it looks like I destroyed the, the joint for no reason. Uh, my scale has bottomed out.